This is the Cholo News Report for Friday 04, January 2019. Pharmaceutical company Bristolmius Squibb proposes the takeover for United States 95 billion, including debt, of cancer drug company Celgene, the biggest biopharma deal ever. Both Bristolmius and Celgene faced separate challenges, and some Wall Street analysts questioned whether the combination which the companies said would create 2.5 billion in cost savings and significantly raise earnings would solve them. The death toll of an explosion caused by a gas leak that devastated a block of flats in Magnitogorsk, Russia, rises to 39. Rescuers end their search efforts at the collapsed site as there are no more missing people. 39 people have been killed in an apartment building collapse this week in the industrial Russian city of Magnitogorsk as emergency workers wrapped up a search operation. In a separate incident the next day that was also attributed to gas, a minibus explosion on the same street killed three unidentified people. The governor of Shelyabinsk region, where Magnitogorsk is located 1,700 kilometers east of Moscow, pledged 1 million rubles to the relatives of each victim. The mayor of Naples offers to birth an uberated ship with 32 migrants who were rescued on 22 December off Libya. Both Italy and Malta are refusing to let the Sea Watch 3, a ship operated by a German non-governmental organization, dock and set down the migrants who were rescued off Libya on December 22. Malta overnight allowed the boat into its waters to sail closer to land where the seas are less choppy, but is refusing to let it dock. On Wednesday, the mayor of the Sicilian capital Palermo, Leo Luca Orlando, said he would join other cities in ignoring a new security law, because it abolishes asylum protection for many migrants. The Dutch Coast Guard says 270 containers fell off MS Ciso in heavy seas, near the German island of Borkum and floated towards the Netherlands. Treasure hunters rebel on the West Frisian islands of Terschelling and Vleeland. Three containers containing hazardous materials are still missing, and ships are warned for floating containers.